Hi guys and welcome to uh, Brick to Go. Today we're going to review this instrument which is my own personal Martin Triple O 15M Streetmaster uh, guitar. I purchased this in March of 2020 from Streetwater Guitars who I uh, think they're a great, great place. Uh, like I said, this is there's no promotion here. This is all my own money that's gone into this. I just decided to uh, make a video to review it. So this guitar retails, uh, I believe it's around about $1,400 US dollars. Um, that's what I paid for it. I think that's where it roughly retails at. It is a mahogany, solid mahogany top, back, side and back, and a mahogany neck. Um, it's a solid guitar, but it's a stripped down guitar. So there's no binding show you there's no binding there's no ro fancy rosette in there there's no pick guard um, the the tuners are open gear tuners on the back the bridge is, is it's all very stripped down basic stuff there's no electronics in it there's no pickup it is a pure player's guitar and there is a reason for that the idea is it's meant to replicate the 1930s uh, depression era guitar players who didn't have a whole lot of money because there was not much work around and they would play guitar on the street to try and earn some money with an old banged up guitar and so the street master is the one that it was the first martin guitar i ever bought i've only been playing guitar for three years but um, i did want a martin guitar i'd have a couple of tailors uh, i wanted to try a martin and this was the one I loved the locker of it. I, lo I watched some videos and decided that this was the one I wanted to get. So the, the finish is a satin uh, finish. What's interesting about this is that the spots where you've come into contact with it to play, like here where your arm goes over and then when your fingers go down here, they've all gone shiny. So it's almost like a they're like a gloss finish in those places. So it's kind of the opposite to what you know, if you get a, a guitar that has a high gloss finish and then it gets worn in certain spots where you play it and then that dulls down. This guitar has gone exactly the opposite way, um, which is interesting, but it, it all adds character to it. With it being so stripped down, I think any nick or ding or scuff mark in it just adds even more to the look and the character and the feel of it. Uh, the body style is an auditorium style, so what's nice about the auditorium is it still has that signature Martin um, sound to it in that it's, it's rich, it's rich and warm and, and quite bassy. Um, but this version, what I found with this is it doesn't have that high end I don't want to use the word shrill, but it doesn't, it's not quite as sharp at the, at the high end as some. I think it's slightly dull. And I think that's on purpose. I think that's by design to make it feel like an old wall road guitar. The, the thought being that it complements playing alongside a banjo, which is often what happened in the 1930s when people were playing these instruments. And so the banjo has that higher pitch shrill sound and this provides that lower end warmth sound. So that's my experience with the guitar. I don't know what your thoughts are, but it's still, don't get me wrong, it's still a beautiful sounding guitar. It just doesn't have that sharp, shrill sound that some do at the high end. The strings that were provided with this guitar, all that the guitar comes with, were Lifespan 2.0 12s, uh, 12 54s. I had to look at my notes over there then. Um, the one thing that I've found with this guitar is it's very forgiving. Like I said, I've only been playing for three years. Um, for someone who's looking at, um, you know, an intermediate price, this is not a cheap guitar in terms of guitars, but it's, it's an intermediate price for Martin guitars. Martin guitars, are, as you know, go way, way, way higher than this. So in, in terms of price, um, but to play for someone who's only been playing three years and, you, and you're in a spot where you can form bar chords but can't quite play them cleanly and I'm still at that spot, I can form them but playing them in a song is, 
is a, is a different thing entirely. This is more forgiving. This, um, you don't have to push as hard on the strings. Um, it's, it doesn't feel like you're, you're fighting against the strings or it's hurting you. It's actually very good on, on your fingers. And, and I don't know if that's the strings or if that's the fr fretboard material or build, but it does seem to be m much more forgiving when you're playing it. Um, I kind of think of it like landing somewhere between an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar where it's, it's essentially it is an acoustic guitar, there's no electronics in here. Um, but it has the, forgiving, the forgiveness almost of an electric guitar where you don't have to press down quite as hard to get the sound out. So, which makes it much easier to play for someone like me who's not been playing for long. Or for anybody, right? You can get a really, a really, really nice sound out of this, this instrument. It is a beautiful uh, guitar, beautiful finish, beautiful build quality. The guitar comes with a really good quality gig bag. It is a soft gig bag, not a hard shell. But I think that goes to that goes to part of the intent for the guitar. You know, it's meant to look like a street worn player's guitar, and so why have a hard shell case when you're just going to be using a soft gig bag to take it around? But it's a very good quality, very well padded Martin gift, uh, gig bag. I think ultimately, when you look at the stripped down nature of this, it's a, it's a beautiful looking guitar. It's an absolute joy to play. Um, and it's, it's still up there as one of my favorite instruments that I own. It's probably only beaten by one other one, which you'll see in another video. And it's actually another Martin guitar, funnily enough. As a casual player or someone who doesn't want to play amplified unless you want to put electronics in there put a pickup in I recommend this this guitar to anyone I think it's a wonderful one to pick up and play and again with the finish looking like it does with this kind of warm warm finish um, the, the distressed kind of look I think any any dings or knocks in there only adds to its character yeah, you, you know it, it kind of makes it look more genuine as a worn rogue guitar. So, triple zero, 15M Mahogany Burst Streetmaster Martin Guitar. Beautiful instrument. Right, we've got the microphone right in the sound hole, so let's see what this sounds like. So I did put the microphone in the sound hole for um, a demonstration. Hopefully that didn't come out distorted or anything like that, but just to get a clearer demonstration of what it actually sounded like um, when it's playing out, out of its true audio area. So uh, I hope that sounded good. I hope you like the guitar. I hope you like this video. If you enjoyed it and if you're feeling generous, please subscribe and click like uh, on the video and look out for more instrument reviews. I have got four other Martin guitars, a couple of Fenders, 
uh, all to review yet. So uh, watch out for those videos as well. And uh, thank you for joining.